This is problem number 29. Stuart Calculus, 8th edition, section 2.2. Part A, by graphing the function f of x is equal to the quantity of cosine of 2x minus cosine of x divided by x squared. And zooming in towards the point where the graph crosses the y-axis, estimate the value of the limit as x approaches 0 for the function x. So we're going to take this function, cosine of 2x minus cosine of x, that whole quantity divided by x squared, and we're going to use a graphing calculator, or in this case a graphing spreadsheet, and we're going to investigate what the behavior of the function is as we approach x equals 0 from the left and from the right. So here's a plot of the function. We've already zoomed in very closely to the area of x equals 0, which is this line. As we get closer from the left, the function approaches a value of about negative 1.5. As we approach from the right, we also approach a value that's close to negative 1.5. And so our first estimate for part A that we confirm graphically is that the limit is equal to negative 1.5. We're going to check this answer in part B by evaluating the function for values of x that approach 0. And if we go back to our spreadsheet, we see that this plot was actually made using values that are very close to 0. And we will focus specifically on the table of values and show that from the right-hand side, as we get closer and closer to 0, from the right, we see that the values got closer and closer to negative 1.5. Similarly, from the left, values that are negative and close to 0, we see the calculations getting closer and closer to about negative 1.5 until we reach this point, at which point we can say definitively that our limit as x approaches 0 for this function is negative 1.5, and we have confirmed to party.